This is Anthony of Potable Channel. Today I want to do another video on faith alone defeated versus that refute faith alone. And today I want to look at Romans chapter 8 and verse 13. Letter of St. Paul to the Romans chapter 8 verse 13 which says this, For if you live according to the flesh you shall die. But if by the Spirit you mortify the deeds of the flesh, you shall live. What I want to do in this particular series of videos I'm doing on Faith Alone Defeated is not necessarily give an exposition of everything that's taking place here, but just to point out that a very straightforward reading of these passages will show that there's nothing about faith alone taught in any of these passages. In fact, it's contrary. Obviously, having faith is not contrary. We, we must have the true faith to save our souls, but faith alone is not necessary. It, well, yeah, faith alone cannot, cannot save so that's what I want to point out. So this is the verse I want to look at today. Verses, Romans chapter 8, verse 13. For if you live according to the flesh, you shall die. As I pointed out in the last video, it should be obvious that faith is assumed here. That the people that Paul is speaking to have the true faith and have been baptized. They are Christians. He is speaking to Christians. In this passage, obviously we know this because he's he addressed it in the opening sections of the letter to the Romans. He said that they possess the true faith, and that their faith is made known throughout the whole world. So, let's look a little bit in at this here. For if you live according to the flesh, you shall die. In what he's when he says you shall die. He can't be speaking to unbelievers because unbelievers are already dead. Okay? They, they have no life in them. They are already condemned because they have no faith. They don't believe in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So they have no life. They are, all, they are dead already. Okay? And their trespasses and sins. They are dead. But Paul tells these Christians here that if you live according to the flesh, you shall die. That means they're already alive. But he's warning them. That if they live according to the flesh, if they walk in mortal sin and live as the pagans by committing sins and so forth, they're going to die. That the life that they received in baptism and by faith is going to be gone. They have to be weary of this. And he says, but if by the Spirit you mortify the deeds of the flesh, you shall live. Now, okay. An unbeliever cannot mortify anything. He doesn't have the spirit to mortify. As I said, an, unbelie an unbeliever does not have the spirit in order to mortify anything. Any deeds of the flesh. So Paul obviously is speaking to Christians. And he's telling them that they need to live according to the spirit by mortifying the deeds of the flesh. Which kind of goes along with what I said in my last and previous video. Now let's look at the first part of the chapter. It says, There is now therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who, what? Walk not according to the flesh. So it's possible for one to be in Christ, which, which in the Catholic faith takes place in baptism. And faith, you can be a Christian and not walk and not walk and and not walk or walk according to the flesh. You can be a Christian, guess what? And walk according to the flesh. But if you do so, you will die. Alright? And you'll have condemnation. You will be condemned. Alright, it says, therefore there's now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not according to the flesh. But if you're in Christ and you walk 
according to the flesh, you will die. You'll be cast off. Right? You will no longer abide. And he says in verses 4 that the justification of the law might be fulfilled in us. Right? Who, what? Walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So, when we are in Christ, the justification of the law can be fulfilled in us. Why? How? By walking according to the Spirit, by mortifying the deeds of the flesh through the Holy Ghost, by mortification. We can mortify the flesh, and we can walk according to the Spirit, we will have no condemnation if we're in Christ Jesus. The justification of the law will be fulfilled in us because we'll be doing the law by living a righteous life. But if we walk according to the flesh, you'll die. It, as verse 4 says, the justification of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So, it seems pretty straightforward that for those who wish to have no condemnation, who wish to see life, that there is more that is necessary than simply faith. Faith is necessary to enter into this life, okay? To enter into union with Christ, faith and baptism. But once you're there, it doesn't stop. That's not the, that's not the end all. The, it, we have to mortify the deeds of the flesh. We have to live according to the Spirit. We have to walk according to the Spirit and mortify and live this holy Christian life. For as he says in verses 13, which is the, the verse I want to focus on, if you live according to the flesh, you shall die. Okay? You can have all faith you want. All faith. But if you live according to the flesh, guess what? You will die. You shall die. Christian, do not be deceived. Right? For if you live according to the flesh, you shall die. But, but if by the Spirit you mortify the deeds of the flesh, you shall live. What does he mean, shall live? Okay, well, it means you will, you, will, you will be in heaven. Okay? You will, you will make, you will, you will finish the course. You will finish the race. Okay, that in baptism we have received all the graces necessary, and by taking part in the sacraments. Now, this is just my Catholic theology I'm teaching right here because I'm. This is not. I'm not expounding so much verses eight thirteen here now. I'm saying that when we are a Christian, as and have the sacraments available, we can we can. Our, our whole Christian life is mortifying the deeds of the flesh, mortification. That's the life of the Catholic Christian. And that's what Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians 9, 24-27 in my previous video. So, anyway, this is another verse that I believe just... That, this verse doesn't allow for a faith alone idea. It doesn't make sense because if you have faith alone then what is he talking about here if all you require is faith then what is he talking about here about living according to the flesh you should die but if by the spirit you need to mortify the deeds of the flesh you'll live it makes no sense in a faith alone context because it's, there's there is no such thing as faith alone you know as our lord told us as well that we must be willing to pick up our cross daily and follow him. Otherwise, we're not worthy of him. So, I'll just end it at that. First Corinthians, uh, for, uh, Romans 8, 13 shows us the necessity of walking by the Spirit and mortifying the deeds of the flesh. We, do, we must do penance. That's what mortification is. Mortification is penance. Mortify the deeds of the flesh. We shall live. Walk according to the flesh, we shall die. And that's uh, that's not simply just for the unbeliever. They're already dead. This is speaking to those who are in Christ. 
who have no condemnation because they walk according to the Spirit. But if they don't walk according to the Spirit, they will die. Ave Maria.